Hey there, I think it might be helpful if I just broke down for you what all these symbols mean and what they were doing with it. So in order to find the mean of a group of numbers, you add together all of the different numbers and then divide by how many numbers you have. So what the Taylors did, for example, is that first of all, they recorded all their expenses for 12 weeks and then they added them all together. So that is what this little symbol up here means. That is a sigma, and it's a way that we say sum. So what that means is it's the total amount that they spent over the course of 12 weeks. And then what they did is they took that total amount and they divided it by n. That's the number of weeks, which we know from the problem, of course, is 12. So they took that total and they divided it by 12, in order to figure out the mean. That symbol, the X with the line over it, that is the mathematical symbol for mean. So let's see what the example is saying that you need to do. So first of all, you would take the information from the problem that you know and substitute it into the formula. So we know from the information that is given to us that they determined that the mean was $87. So in the formula right there, and I'm going to replace the mean with 87. I'm going to record the rest of the equation because there's an equals. Now, we don't know what the missing total is. Okay, They didn't tell us here exactly what number they got after they added all of those 12 weeks worth of expenses together. So that is our unknown. So because that's what I'm trying to figure out, I'm gonna leave it as a variable. But I do know what N stands for. Of course, N stands for the number of weeks. So I'm gonna replace the N with a 12. So I've taken the formula, the total number, of, the, the total amount of expenses, divided it by the number of weeks, and we have the mean. So what the directions are trying to tell you to do in order to figure out that total is you are going to get rid of this division, basically. To figure out what that total amount is, you gotta do the opposite of the division, so you have to multiply. So that is why the formula, the first step in the example, is telling you to multiply the mean times the number. So in other words, we need to do $87, oh, I'm sorry, not $87, $87.10, sorry about that. So you've got to take that $87.10 and multiply it by 12. And doing so is going to give you the missing total that we need in order to solve this problem. So that is where the next step that you see here in the directions comes from. They multiplied 87, 10 times 12, got a total of 1,045, 20. So originally, when they added up the 12 weeks worth of expenses, they got $1,045.20. Now, however, as the problem tells us, they figured it out wrong because one week that should have been $76.00, was actually recorded as $25. So that means when they added together that total of $10.45, it was $51 too small. So that means you've gotta add $51 into that total. Which, of course, is what they did in this part of the example. So now the real amount of money they spent on groceries all week long was 1,096. So now that they know the actual amount that they spent, they're gonna take that new figure, divide it by the 12 weeks, and so they get the new correct average of $91.35. I hope that helps. If it doesn't, please message me back and let me know if you need me to give you another example.